Hi guys, Nick Miller today from Mark Supply Company. They have for you a 2009 Bobcat 5600 Toolcat. This is a 5600 Turbo. We're going to sell this as a package. So it has the Bobcat 84 inch snow plow. It's a 2013 snow plow. Brand new cutting edge on it. Power angle. It's going to have a brand new CID 63 inch smooth edge bucket. It does have a buyer's, I believe that's a TSG uh, tailgate spreader on the back. This belonged to a small guy that had this for some property maintenance he was doing. It's not a brand new tool cat. The hours are correct, 1,076. The machine mechanically is excellent. It is not a rusted, rotted pig. Typical tool cat. There was some rust down here on both sides. It's been repaired in the course of its life. The floorboards are not shot. They're not gone. They're in there. We're going to show you that. Uh, bed is actually in good shape. It is not uh, rusted and rotted out in the bed. Uh, we did paint the bed because it was scratched all up. Uh, the rest of it, he had had rubberized undercoated to keep it from getting rusted up. Frame-wise, very good. Uh, there's a dent in the tailgate we're going to show you. Um, we did service it. We changed all the filters and oils, including cabin filters. Uh, very good running working machine. We're going to start you here. Um, right inside the cab we have excellent pictures under the bed if anybody has any questions there let us know v203 turbo on this i do believe is what that is uh but we're going to start here in the engine or in the cab take it completely around this machine we have found no oil leaks on this machine um typical tool cats there was some some rust there that had been fixed you can see here floorboards are solid they're all in there i have seen these where guys have there's no floors in them, and they bring stupid money. Uh, factory floor mats are there. Uh, interior of the machine is actually in nice shape yet. This pasture side seat is tore right there. Just showing you that. All the glass is in the cab. All the glass is there and intact and original to the machine. The cab itself, again, good shape other than what we just told you there. Um, it is an 09. Right here's your year model, and it's an A0W serial number, 5600 turbo. Suspension's in good shape. There's no oil leaks that we have found anywhere. This does not have the power quick patch. For somebody asks, it does not have it. Does come with a good 84 inch Bobcat, heavy duty snow plow. Again, the snow plow is a 2013. It does have these wing doors on it, they're on there. Um, you can take them off if you so desire. I did buy a brand new cutting edge from bobcat and put on there tires on this machine are going to be about 50 percent they're the 27 by 10.5 by 15s again coming over here to this side typical on a tool cat that has been repaired but it's not anything structural and everybody to know that inside here you can see the core fins are very good we'll take you to the other side and i'll show you on the other side also again right here factory floors solid metal same within the wheel wells so many guys do not want to show that stuff because they know that there's nothing there this driver's seat's very good has tilt wheel again all glasses in the cab doors doors are good doors shut good uh we'll show you in the cab some more in a second again the bed is good these two little bed cables were bad we ordered those brand new from bobcat and put on New factory decals on the sides and in the back. Two inch receiver hitch. Has a little salt spreader with it. Don't know that it was ever really used much, but it's in good condition. Everything's there and works. All the fenders are good. I see these machines in all kinds of bad condition. You'll see them, the fronts broke off. You'll see them, the bed's completely gone. This bed is not that way. Um, I'll show you in here at this engine panel. You can see in here, engine's good and dry. I'm not hiding anything with this machine. I want everyone to understand that. Tool cats are stupid money new these days. Um, and I think I'm going to be very, very reasonable in this machine. So um, we are going to run the snow plow, show you that it works. I'm going to take it off, put the bucket on it then for you real quick so you can see how it all works. Matt, meet me inside the cab and let's go over this machine. So this unit is an all-wheel steers machine or front axle steer. Popping in here, we're going to go ahead and we'll show you. So we are in, we are in all-wheel steer mode. We can flip it over to front steer. There's no error codes. That's
that's all working the way it is supposed to. Now, you're going to have bed up and down. You're very limited. I can put it up just a little bit. You can see that your bed is going up and down the way it is supposed to. You have your front wiper. Everything there works. Twin wiper blades. You're going to have your auxiliary cigarette cord. This is for the seven pin attachment control if you put a snowblower or something on. You can do that to have those controls. This is going to be your joystick, up, down, curl, uncurl, auxiliary hydraulics left or right, or your button for constant flow. Matt, you might as well walk back. I'll shut it off for a second. The spreader is on. Yep. I have a light that works on it, simply on and off. Now, we're going to go back here, what I was going to show you, I started again, 1,076 hours on this machine. We'll take it one step further. There are no error codes with this machine. I'll even release all functions, still no error codes. I want everybody to see that. You have your auxiliary hydraulics here. You are also going to have work mode. Put it in work mode so that you actually can slow it up, speed it down for fine tune work. Okay? Um, okay? Push this back up. You do have your tilt wheel. You're going to use a tool cat. Your throttle is going to come up. You're going to use your foot throttle as an actually an inching pedal. It's going to control your hydrostatic drive function forward and reverse. You have a left hand reverser, and then the very end you have a two speed button. Does have a rear view mirror kit. Does have AM FM radio. The antenna was broke. We put a brand new one on yesterday from Bobcat. Um, but it is a 1,076 hour machine. Know this machine, for lack of a better word, is not a piece of dog poop. It is a nice machine. It's not brand new. It has some weathering here and there. We've pointed out everything we know. I'm not hiding anything. I want everybody to understand. I see these all the time where the cabs are completely rotted clear up around where the engine mounts are and they're asking 30 grand for them. But when a new one like this is 70 plus thousand, uh, I think I'm being very reasonable in my pricing. So you are getting a snow plow, a brand new bucket, and you're gonna have that little spreader. So I'm gonna fire this thing up. We're gonna show you that the plow works. Then I'm gonna hook into the bucket. Then I'm gonna run it around.
guys, there you have it. This is a very good running working machine. There are no issues with it. It does every function you ask it to. Listen, I've disclosed what I knew there in the bottom. Um, the floorboards are excellent. Uh, again, the typical cab corners on one has been repaired. Um, very, very good running working machine. There's no oil leaks. You have no error codes. Yes, it is a 1,076 hour machine. Not only is it coming with a $2,500 snow plow that no one else is advertising with theirs, it's coming with a spreader, a brand new bucket. I'm selling that thing as a package. Yes, all the factory glasses in it. There's no plexiglass has been put in it. Um, I know a guy, I shouldn't even make this comment, but I'm going to. I know a guy that's patched a bunch of these up and sold them and made it bad for guys that actually have pretty decent cool cats to sell. This isn't one of those. Auxiliary hydraulics, and no, I'll get this out of the road. It's not a high flow. There's some guys out there that are tripped up that you gotta have high flow to run a brush cutter. 100% false. There's guys out there that are all tripped up. Oh, we gotta have high flow to run a snowblower. 100% false. You can run any standard flow attachment you want with this if the attachment is geared right to this machine. That is fact. So, if you have any questions on attachments to this thing, give us a call. If you are a guy who wants something like this around your farm, something like this around your property, this truthfully is a side-by-side, -side, in my opinion, on steroids that actually will do work. You can go out. You can put down some stone with this thing. You can lift a pallet of material with it. You can haul stuff. You literally, truthfully can dump stuff with this bed. Um, one thing, we did change all filters and oils, including cab filters, again. We did find that the two lift cylinders, the cylinder packings were getting wet. We went ahead and resealed both cylinders. That is done. I want everyone to understand the bed is all metal. It's not rotted out. And there is this dent in the tailgate. Matthew, I'm sure you take, took an excellent, taking excellent pictures of that. There is a dent. It's not in the interior. There's one little spot here. These are a double walled tailgate. There's an inside and an outside. The outside's where the dent's at. Um, Again, everything works, the axle joints are good. Uh, we did grease everything. If you're looking for a decent tool cat, here's something to take a look at. It's better than a decent tool cat. It's actually in very good condition. But in today's world, when I have to compete with a guy that had put 10 pounds of Bondo in the bottom of his and everything leaks and, and half the crap don't work on it, well, that's the way it is today. But this thing here is not something of that nature. So if you have any questions, 814-658-3066. No, none of the frame is rusted or, rusted or rotted. Uh, again, good working machine, coming as a package. Bring your buddy's cousin's uncle who once worked at a Bobcat dealer in the 1980s. I don't care. I mean, no disrespect towards that, but we get some real winners anymore. So we take the time to get through our stuff so we know what we have. Don't take that disrespectfully. So, and again, any questions, 814-658-3066. As always, thank you very much for checking out Mark's Supply Company. Have a great day.